What's going on guys? It's Frito here for your Overwatch. In today's video, we're going to transform your Zenyatta gameplay. We've got clips of similar mistakes from the metal ranks all the way up to Grand Master that if you change, you're going to transform your Zenyatta output and know how to adjust to a lot of different situations. I and many players think that he's probably the most overpowered support, but you have to know how to utilize him and adjust to when the enemy's trying to counter you or apply what he's best at. Because there's a new patch, there was a replay wipe, so we need you to submit in new replay code submissions. It can be of any hero or role. Linked in the description, fill out the Google form and you might get your gameplay featured in our educational content. And while you're down there, you can take a look at today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Today's video sponsor is Manscaped. And this time they've got a very important message. April is National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month and they wanna make sure that you get tested. Testicular cancer is the most common form in men from 15 to 35. That means all of us. Guys can sometimes be a bit too macho when it comes to illnesses, but take it seriously to do a self-examination, and if you think anything's up, talk to your doctor. And while you're checking out the family jewels, you might as well shine them right up. You can check out the Lawnmower 4.0 for the absolute best in male grooming. The Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof, cordless, with a built-in light knit that makes it perfect to use in the shower, and of course, the patented skin-safe technology is the reason I became a fan years before they sponsored the channel and I can safely say that is the only brand of razor I'd ever let touch my family jewels if for whatever reason you don't already own this magnificent piece of technology check out manscape.com and use our code overwatch at checkout to get 20% off your entire order and free international shipping that's code overwatch at checkout and also learn how to do a careful self-examination at manscape.com forward slash TCS our first clip is from a Diamond Zenyatta player who gives the exact wrong response for why they think they lost the game that they're in here on Havana. They said that the enemy SIG was better and carried, which that might be true, but the first thing to remember as Zenyatta is that you are the biggest tank buster character in the entire game. So if something is losing on the tank battle, it's your fault. The biggest mistake I've been seeing is that players are overly reliant on the alternate fire of Zenyatta, the five orbs snipe shot. It feels great when you take an enemy out, but just like sniper characters, it offers a lot of downtime for a lot of reasons, because as you're charging up a volley, you can't apply harmony or discord orb, and in fact, your overall DPS is much lower. It's going to be useful for sniping opponents, and good aim with it might carry in a lot of matches, but the core value of Zenyatta is playing on open angles, winning the tank battle, discording him, and applying shots, using your ammo to gradually whittle down the defenses of the enemy tank and the supports to back them up instead of going for your own pickoffs. Our Zen hero tries to play a very crummy off angle on a sniper map with the enemy SIG shield in his way anyway. This is the opposite of an open angle. It's a closed angle where you yourself are actually framed in a hallway. Some characters might sneak off a sniper shot from this doorway, but otherwise it's a death trap. There's a lot more options and value to be had by pressing advantage in the outside, especially when you're on the attack, you can use the cart as cover. Playing so close to the front line, as opposed to playing outside of the Sigma's effective damage and being patient to whittle him down over time meant that he was allowed to hold position a lot longer. When you're doing this, you don't seem to realize the resource exchange that you can put entirely in your hands as Zenyatta. Let's look at a clip of me playing on the same map and notice how long I'm staying committed to pressuring down the tank. Try to remember the principle that your Discord orb has no cooldown. You can can apply it and like a Medusa stare, commit to the tank fight for a long time with a ton of ammo at your disposal, working down that enemy tank, and eventually, after the enemy uses their healing cooldowns and their tanking cooldowns, all that is spent and you are on top with a discord still applied and more ammo to bear. Playing Zen like this is utterly going to change your Zenyatta gameplay, and he's a lot simpler of a hero than you're making him. The OP thing about Zen is applying discord, so you want to maximize your discord uptime because all the while it's on the enemy tank especially or any character but especially the tank who's just the one sole tank now you are flipping the tank battle in a significant way and in a lot of points you're going to find that that's all that matters you surviving and pressuring the tank is going to be enough to win in lots of situations and i'll show you exactly what i mean now we're going to look at a grandmaster zenyatta player who essentially has the same exact play style as our diamond player 
The only difference is this GM player has much better aim with the alt fire, but you run into problems once the enemy starts outplaying you with counters. If you're used to standing out in the open, out aiming most DPS, and then you go up against a counter pick like Hanzo, Widowmaker, I would even say Torb can be kind of annoying for Zen sometimes. There's ranged characters that more easily shoot at Zen than he shoots back. So mastering the charge shot is not going to help you really. Instead, I'm going to teach you a trick on Pariso. This position underneath the staircase might feel like you're out of the fight entirely, but try to remember that the enemy has to get on the point. And as we witnessed, it feels like the enemy can pretty easily get a surprise angle on you, jumping out of a window, taking a flank on the side. There's a lot of ways that your backline can get one shot and that loses this point. But holding this position underneath is going to hard mark a lot of tanks so that even if your team goes down one or two, having a discord angle alive onto the point can mark anything trying to cap to easily die. And then you can survive here for quite a long time as respawns come back. Whereas taking the high ground spot gets you a stronger angle. It also means that you're more vulnerable to getting shot with no cover. And as the attackers start to trade, they're going to gain map advantage. You as the defender don't have to opt into a sniper fight at all. You could stare at a wall and force them to walk forward. Like imagine if they had five snipers, right? None of them want to jump on point. Well, now you're playing Valorant and you just need to hide in a corner and let them take space, then shoot them. Now try to remember if you can hard mark a tank, what I just described is just normal defending this point. You don't have to actually fight them. You can force them to go fight into open space as opposed to fighting them on their sniper angles where they can have cover to jiggle peek you. I think this comes from overvaluing the necessity to get frags yourself and undervaluing the team modifier that applying discord on the main angle of attack has. And we saw both the diamond player and now the grandmaster player undervalue that massive of advantage that a discord line of sight can have. Later in the game, we swap to Kiriko, which I tend to agree is easier on attack when taking space, getting flank angles. But I think we also could have applied better Zenyatta principles throughout this game to avoid the Hanzo Mercy combo and choose to commit fights that were on the tank battle. Because what Mercy wants to do is opt into the sniper battle. But if you can avoid that, regardless of whatever hero she's pocketing, and instead more quickly engage on the tank battle, that's why you're going to win in the Zenyatta versus a sniper matchup other than just sniping him yourself but once you get to a higher rank they're going to utilize the more quick one-shot kill than you have zen's five orb is a bit overrated and it's gonna have a severe fall off as you climb up the upper ranks where they don't struggle to snipe a zen going down the ranks again let's take a look at shambali we're gonna see two clear examples of not utilizing power positions here on the first defense this corner is a big trap there's a few mobile or defensive foul supports that could play here but zenyatta is not one of them. Instead, I suggest you play on this back staircase, which you can peek out to apply your orbs. And I don't mean just your charge shot, but harmony and discord orb and use cover back and forth. Remember, you don't have to fully maintain line of sight to get those orbs active. You peek out, apply it, and then just need to routinely peek again and maintain line of sight, but not fully, not continuously. Jiggle peeking on a piece of cover in the back here would mean you get to see everything you are currently seeing, at least the important angles, but have the opportunity to back up to the mega health pack and escape to your respawns. Always plan as Zen to get out even if it means you can't help a teammate. If they want to defend on some weird flank that you're not going to be able to contribute to. Remember, you want to keep yourself alive in a back angle where you're going to be able to pressure the tank. Everything else is kind of a bonus. The longer you maintain those style of positions, the better time you're going to have. But conversely, we're going to see a different example where we needed to go take a position here on the attack. We're nearly gaining the checkpoint. We should be winning this game, but holding our position on the cart means we're only going to see a thin sliver peeking out of the cart. That's never going to win the game. This is a very similar mistake as trying to play that little doorway in Havana. Instead, the win position is getting in position with where your Reaper is on the right. While it might feel dangerous to wander off that way away from the cart, you have to go proceed to get that angle to do anything. Because what happens is we play too safe, our Doom goes in, takes all the heat, doesn't get healed, 
field. You're not applying pressure or getting a pick or anything in this meantime and simply riding the cart's not going to win. They're in a defensive position, so that means we have to get a stronger angle that sees more. And for the most part, playing in that archway is decent cover. If they do rush you, there's health packs behind you. And besides, there's a Reaper there, which even if your Doom dies, that's a secondary tank for you to utilize to swing the fight back. You need to take wider open angles with cover to have a bigger impact on this character. And while you might feel diveable in that position, as long as you do enough damage before you go down, your team can actually gain an advantage as opposed to being in the passenger seat in the game, just playing so passive that you hope the defense runs into you. Well, that's not going to happen, right? You got to step into the angle, take a fight to finish a very entrenched defensible position like this. And that principle is even more at play in this Junkertown game, where as you win riding the cart here, feeling that you need to hide in the back as Zen, well, this actually leaves you wide open to any DPS flank that always comes over the top here on the top right. You should always expect that. So actually taking a further progressed angle, either walking up the staircase on the left so you could even fight against the soldier that inevitably is going to come on that position or even pushing far left into the sniper angle. Kind of depends what you're up against. That'll be harsher if they do have snipers, but if they have medium range characters, you can always bet that they're going to come around that far right hand side. I would have rather you played more aggressively into the front line or taken any of those other positions. Now, funnily enough, as we begin to win this fight, we again are missing out on some opportunities to play some amazing sniper positions. Trying to overwhelm the cart and brawl it up like we're Brig, we're running at the enemy Sigma. Meanwhile, there's a mini health pack with an amazing fence and lots of other boxes to use that are going to be great retake positions to hold as the enemy stallers get on the cart. Remember, line of sight for Discord is what's going to win the fights for us most of the time. So playing back near the mini health pack and applying Discord onto the cart is going to mean no amount of stall is going to survive. All we need to do is not be targetable or die ourselves. Playing here is a bit of an objective Andy decision that we didn't need to make. As Zenyatta, you're not an objective player. You are a gain and angle player, playing similar positions that a sniper might want to. But luckily for you, you don't have to hit all your shots, at least not your sniper alt fire. You can focus on poking down resources with your primary fire and having a high percentage uptime on Discord Orb and Harmony Orb as well. Heal your team, obviously, but Discord's where the juice is at. All right, guys, I think if you follow this guide, you're going to see an immense boost in your Zenyatta performance. It makes your entire your team's job easier and utilizes what's actually OP about the character rather than trying to play him like he's Kiriko or something, who's actually much better and more effective at taking solo duels. But we'll talk about her in an upcoming guide. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to support the channel by checking out today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Like the video and be sure to click subscribe and the bell icon to actually get notified when our videos come out. Submit your replay codes in the Google form linked in the description. That's been it for me. I've been Frito for your Overwatch. I'll see you guys next time.